it's me, Ashley Weston. Welcome back to my men's grooming series. So before you watch my companion video about the best shampoos and conditioners for your specific hair type, I wanna go over the other side of the coin. And that is how to wash and dry your hair properly. Because it's one thing to have the best products for your specific hair type, it's another to be using them properly. I'm sure you're rolling your eyes and thinking, this would be crazy. How hard is it to wash and dry your hair? Apparently it's very hard because the groomers I mentioned in my series intro video all said that their clients were not washing and drying their hair properly based on their hair type, which really does make a big difference. So if you do not know how often you should be washing your hair as well as the proper technique, then you will not be realizing the full benefits of the shampoos and conditioners I'm recommending in my companion video. So first we're gonna get into how often you should be washing your hair based on your hair type. Then go over the proper technique to wash your hair. And finally, da -da -da -da, of course we're gonna go over how to dry your hair. All right, let's get into it. A lot of men think that the more they wash their hair, the better, but that's actually not true. It's dependent on your hair type and the styling products that you're using. If you have curly or coarse hair, then you'll wanna limit shampooing to once a week because otherwise it's going to dry out your hair and cause your head to look like a fuzzball. By all means though, you can still use conditioner every time you shower and you can actually use it as a leave-in conditioner and not wash it out. That way it'll keep your hair nourished, more manageable and less frizzy. If if you have fine or thinning hair, then you definitely want to wash and condition your hair every single day because it will actually promote hair growth and it will keep your hair less oily, which makes it look fuller and thicker. Now it's very important that you use a sulfate free shampoo and conditioner because sulfates will actually strip all of the good oils and vitamins from your hair and your scalp, making your hair look dull, dry, and very brittle. If you have straight or wavy hair, then two to three times a week is plenty. But if you're using product daily, then you may want to shampoo more often, but I'll get into that shortly. For all hair types, on the days that you are not shampooing, your hair, you still want to give your hair and your scalp a good massage with just water while you shower. Now, as a general rule of thumb, if you are using gels, pomades, or clays, then you still want to wash your hair every time you use them. Otherwise, you're going to start getting zits all along your hairline because the product's actually going to creep down on your face while you sleep and clog your pores. Other products like conditioners and hairsprays will be washed off with your water head scrub. So go easy on shampooing your hair unless you're using heavier styling products. Now that we've gone over how often you should be washing your hair, let's get into the proper technique. For shampoo, you want to actually take one to two minutes to vigorously scrub your hair and your scalp. Make sure you don't miss the top or your sideburns or back of your head. Your scalp really needs to be stimulated so that it gets the blood flowing and it will help promote the best version of your hair possible. This will also help keep your hair more manageable and easier to style. For conditioner, you just want to run it through your hair and leave it in there while you're washing your face and your body and then just rinse off all at once. Now, if you do have coarse or curly hair, I, you actually may not want to wash out all of that conditioner, but more info on that in my shampoo and conditioner companion video. And finally, how should you dry your hair? So before you apply any kind of conditioning or styling product to your hair, your hair needs to be towel dried. Now, the jury is still out about whether you should pat dry your hair or if it's all right to rub your hair with the towel, but I say, why tempt fate? Be as gentle as possible when you're drying your hair. So you actually just wanna use your towel and pat dry your hair, take out as much moisture as you can, especially if you have thinning or curly hair because it'll prevent further breakage and frizzing. Next, you'll either air dry or blow dry your hair depending on the hairstyle you wanna achieve. Styling will be covered in another video, but be sure to check out my companion video up in the upper left-hand corner, which will cover the best shampoos and conditioners for your hair type so that you can get the best version of your hair and hairstyle possible. This is one of many videos in my men's grooming series, so check out the description for the other videos. If you like this video, remember to let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!